Hey folks, this is Vincent Adelie with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to play Savernake Forest. At least, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Don't quote me on it. This game supports two to four players. It's for ages 10 and up, and the average playtime is 30 minutes. We just got this game today in the mail, and we have not had a chance to play it yet, and we're here to try it out. As I always say, we're here to show games off, not to get the rules 100% right, but we do try. Um, here's a quick look at the box insert. It's not a large game. It's fairly small. It comes with uh, row books and all sorts of different languages. None of these are English. She's got the English one. Sorry. Uh, you're fine. <laughs> the English uh, version is about, I want to say, eight pages or so. Uh, so there's a quick look at that. It does a fairly good job of explaining everything. Although I will say that some things are out of place. For example, on page two, it goes into scoring examples, but then later on in the rule book, it goes into how you actually like score. Like here's a scoring example here on how everything is scored, but it also gives you like scoring information here. Like it stores the first three food items it finds along its path, the worm one point, the nut, zero points, but it didn't cover any of that yet. So it's kind of useless information until you get to this part back here. So it's just, this is organized a bit weirdly. There you go. <laughs> so the game comes with a baggie to hold your tokens. Um, I do have some spare tokens off to the side here and I'll show them to you in a little bit. The game comes with a bunch of these gray tokens and a bunch of these water tokens. These grain shelter tokens that allows your animals to store extra food, which I'll get into in a minute. The water token can be added to a card to increase the point value of that food type. And lastly, these are just player markers used for the end of the game. Um, that's just to track your score along the scoreboard. On the reverse side of this board is an actual score track. And we'll just flip it over at the end of the game so we can start counting up our points with these four um, you know, like leaf symbols here. But anywho, um, that's it. That, that's all that really comes with the game. Um, to set up the game, what you're going to do is you're going to shuffle the deck of path cards. Path cards include just a path, um, and you'll have various food items on it. And the other side is the animal deck. And you'll be able to place animals down in front of you in order to start a path and you're going to be using the food that you get uh, from these paths here, and uh, animals will automatically collect them so as long as it's along that path. And in the upper left-hand corner, upper right, bottom right, and bottom left, these are the four food types, strawberries, worms, nuts, or acorns, I should say, and eggs. And the little leaf beside each one will tell you the point value of that particular food type. The middle number tells you how much food that animal can gather as it travels along that path. At the end of the game, this animal will score one point. So it's going to take some time to get a handle on what's going on. I will get it. Thank you. I know. <laughs> you have to touch everything, don't you? I do. All right. So um, the game starts with you shuffling the deck of path cards, and you're going to deal three of them above these three animals here. Uh, this is, I think, a donkey, I think, sure. A uh, rooster, armadillo, and a rabbit. Um, so the path card above the rooster, if anyone were to take this card during the game, you get the first player token, okay? And that will just change hands. Um, if you already have it, then you keep it. If anyone takes this card, then you get to take a water token and you can add it to one of your four corners of one of your animals. And that will increase the point value of that food type by one. So if I put a water droplet on the worm, then this becomes two points per worm instead of one point per worm. Oh. So it just adds more points to that particular food type. And again, to earn food types, uh, what you're going to do is let me see if I can find a, there we go, there's a worm. So I might do something like this, and you're, what you're doing is you're creating a 4x4 four four grid. At the end of the game, when your 4x4 four four grid is filled up, you're going to score points based on the animals you have and the paths that you created. You cannot have more than one animal on a path. So it is okay, though, to create dead ends. Mm -hmm. um, so, for example, we've got a worm right here, and this animal is on the path of that worm. 
So uh, in looking at this combination, um, you'll see that worms are worth one point. So whenever this thing scores, it's gonna score two points for just being there. And it's also gonna score one point because on the card here, it says one point per worm. But again, as it travels along this path, only it can only pick up three. So if you have four or five food along that path, it's going to ignore the rest. Mm -hmm. However, to get around that, if you take this card, um, which is another path, you also get to take a shelter and you can add that to an existing animal and that increases the storage limit by one. So that allows you to bring this up by a point so, or a, a number so that you can store more food on that animal. It can collect more along the way. Um, lastly, if you take the rabbit, nothing really, this is just an animal card. So you can get more animals into your grid should you decide to take the uh, card above the rabbit. So there's three pads and one animal. And you can only put one droplet per animal card? You can have four droplets per animal card, but only one per corner. Oh. Okay. There's four corners, so one droplet here, one droplet, one droplet, one droplet. Oh. That's your max. Okay. You can't have two droplets for two, uh, two extra points for the strawberries and t three extra droplets on the worm. You can't do that. It's one droplet per corner. Okay. Okay. Um, so on a player's turn, it's, it's, the game is played over rounds. And starting with the person with the rooster, they're going to draft one of these cards from the array. They do not refill automatically. So the second player or the remaining players will be forced to pick whatever's left. Um, but you're going to add it to your tableau and it must be placed adjacent to an existing card. Mm -hmm. A lot similar to say King Domino and other, other games, I believe of that type where you're laying tiles down in some kind of grid. That's right. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, you've got the rooster. Actually, you, I started last game. That's okay. The last game that we played. So you can... Ahead. Fine. <laughs> Just to keep the video moving, I Thank will you. graciously accept first player. <laughs> so I started the game with a random animal, and I got this bird. And at the end of the point, a game, it's worth two points. It can hold three food. And it doesn't score anything for strawberries, so I kind of want to stay away from that unless I put a droplet. It is possible to put a droplet on food that is zero points and make it a one point mm -hmm. food. Um, but I get the most for acorns. So I, I'm going to try and be on the lookout for acorns. Mm -hmm. um, so for my first turn, I'm just going to grab this one. Isn't that an egg? That is an egg, yes. So you get the most points from an egg, don't you? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. I. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't see any eggs out here though, but That's I will take I will take the acorn yeah, anyway. Yeah. And because I took an acorn, then I'm gonna grab a water droplet and I will attach it to this acorn here. Very nice. And now you get to take one of those remaining three. And that doesn't get refilled. No. Mm -mm. Wow. It will get refilled at the end of the round. Now you can take yeah. over first player by taking the tile above the rooster, or you can get a shelter by taking that. Your starting animal starts with a... Uh, it, here's a difference, though. This animal doesn't score a whole lot of points, uh, but he can hold five things. So he's going to need a lot of water in order to make use of this, but... You took the water one. <laughs> I did. I, I let it's you okay. go first. Can I see the English? Uh, for, no, for, uh -huh. I'm just curious. Also. For what? What are you looking for? I'm looking for something. Hold on. Okay. Well, if you want to ask a question, I'd be happy to answer it. Yes. So I don't have to cut this out of the lid. Of Sorry, the lid. I, I kind of wanted to see this too. <laughs> you can, this is just fluff. It's adorable. It's All fluff. Right. All right, fine. Okay. I'm hiding this from you. <laughs> All right, I guess I will take the, uh, let's take the worm. You're gonna take the worms? Yeah, why not? All right, so again, you can rotate your animals too. It's up to you and how you want to do it. Um, Let's go. And again, we're making a four by four grid here, so I'll try and give you all as much room as possible. Mm. Right. Does that mean I get the rooster? It does mean you get the rooster. Interesting. Yeah, well, why not? Okay. Let's have a squirrel have a different meal. So <laughs> now these refill mm -hmm. and you get to take the first turn for the next round. Okay. <laughs> Let's do this one for the water droplet. Okay. I'll put this one in the worm. For sure. So you got a lot of worms. You got two worms and another worm and an egg. Yeah. That's a good idea for you. Um, based on what I'm seeing here, there's a bunch of worms. 
Um, I can maybe grab another animal and maybe start it over here. This one is two points for having it at the end of the game. It scores a decent amount and it can hold three food. Um, part of me wants to take the worm just to get one point, but I kind of like the idea of getting another animal. Um, although having first player is very tempting. Um, you know what? I might actually just grab, uh, I might grab another animal because I'm not liking where this is going. So I'm going to put that adjacent to this one and maybe work off this direction. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that ends that round. So I'm going to refill. You get to keep your rooster. Okay. Ooh, badger. I almost want the badger just because it's a badger. <laughs> badger is a jerk. I love a badger. All right. Um, let's do, ooh. Um, let's do this one. All right, so you're going to keep first player? Yeah. Okay. I'll do that. And I like these eggs. So I'm going to put that there. That gives me a water droplet, and I will add that to my egg. Nice. I would move these over. Oh, sorry. Unless you plan to build more to the right, but... Might actually just do no, I can't. Okay, sorry, go ahead. Alright, well that's the end of the round. Yeah. So you get to take the next turn because you've got the rooster. Oh now I've um, reached my limit. I if I try and put any more tiles down, mm -hmm. he won't collect it unless I grab one of these. Okay. I'm going to do let's Go with this one here and get another water droplet. Okay. And I'm going to put this one with the egg. Okay. And I'm going to put this here. Alright, so that's a dead end. Yep. And that's fine. Mm -hmm. Dead ends are totally legal. Okay. Um, I am going to grab the... Uh, I think I'm going to grab the strawberry mm -hmm. and put that here. And I get to take one of, no, I get to take one of these because I took that. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to expand this creature's uh, limit by, to, by one. So now it's four. So I can put something else here before I'm forced to, yeah. All right. So new paths, one and two. And you still have the rooster. Okay. Let's go with... <laughs> Ooh, this is tough. Um. Mm, okay. Let's go with the badger. That badger. This badger. All right. Um. Where do I put you, buddy? <laughs> I am going to. Yeah. Okay. Let's go with. Although, this is acorn and egg, and that is very tempting. Putting, getting another egg would give me another point there, but I'd have to add, I don't think I can do any more. Um, that's so tempting. Yeah, I'm going to take this one, mm -hmm. and this pretty much completes my grid, uh, unfortunately. Uh, at least 4 by 4 wise, anyway. Mm -hmm. I get to take a water droplet, and I will add that to the strawberry nice. up here. Unfortunately, this, this acorn will not grant me anything because one, two, three, four, five, but I have a limit of four. Three plus one. Mm -hmm. And that goes... Yep. New one comes out. Yep. Eesh. Okay. Let's do... Well, since I'm going to move these to the left because you... Like, I've reached my limit. Sorry. You're fine. Oops. Dang it. I don't know if this the camera can see this. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do something cray cray. Let's go with this here. And I'll take this and give him storage because he starts off with zero, <laughs> the badger. Oh, really? Yeah. He has zero storage. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. So, yeah. I wonder if you can add more. I wonder what the limit is on. I wonder if I can add more of that 
Um, I don't see why you couldn't. Yeah. There's no limit. That's why they gave you that rule in the beginning because they were talking about... Yeah. Layer tokens rich. and place it on any of your animals. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about a limit. So I'm, I'm just going to say that you can add as many of these as you want mm -hmm. to an animal, mm -hmm. which is fine by me. Okay, but in the meantime, i got to figure out what I'm going to do. Um, this guy here has a, well, a four limit, but placing it here like this kind of severely hampers my ability. I can maybe go up and to the right with this one, and then maybe right and down with this one if I decide to keep it. Um, that's a lot of eggs. He likes his eggs. Um, do I go with something else here? I don't see why. Well... Acorn is one, strawberry two. I think I'm going to take this one. And that's actually my limit of three. So, mm -hmm. yeah, unfortunately. Okay. okay. So we get a new path. No, no, that's an animal. Oh, sorry. Should Just I put that on the bottom. Yeah, I'll shuffle it. Just put it on the bottom. All right, I'll put it on the bottom. That's fine. Mm -hmm. And now I get to go first because I've got that. Mm -hmm. um, again, no two animals can be on the same path. Yep. So I'm tempted to see if I can just bury this path. Um, maybe take this one. It's an egg, though. What am I going to do with an egg? It's worth nothing to this creature. I'd hate to take that and then bury it. Um, this is the edge here. I could try and set up for... You know what? I think I might actually take this because there's a couple of eggs out there already. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put the cat there. And it's your turn. I'm going to take the strawberry. All right, and that gives you first player. Yes. All right, so one there, and the animal is a beaver. Okay, and it's my turn? It is your turn. It is my turn, okay. Ooh. Let's give you some more room. Mm -hmm. I will take the beaver. Taking the beaver. I'll put it right here. All right, I am going to take the eggs are worth two. I'm going to do something like this, mm -hmm. and that gives me one of these, and I will put that on this creature. Nice. So now his uh, max is five, one, two, three, four, five, which is perfect. Cool. All right, path. I will... Mm. Mm. Okay. So. Mm. <laughs> yes. I don't like any of these. <laughs> I really hate them all. <laughs> oh. <sighs> that really stinks. Um, okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going to. Uh... All right. Thing, thing, thing. I'm going to take this. Okay. You get a water droplet. Yes. And I'll put it right here. Uh... Do I want to do that? A worm, but uh, I don't even know what I'm trying to do. <laughs> you can create dead ends if you think. I could, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. That gives you a water droplet. Okay, yeah, I'll do, I'll do the water droplet, oh. and I will put it on the uh, beaver. Yeah, the beaver. Cool. Hmm. Sure. <laughs> All right, okay. I'm going to take the egg, and it gives me one of these shelter thingies, mm -hmm. and I'm going to put it on, let's see, one, two, I've got two left. I'm going to put it on the cat. Nice. Okay. And then we... Do yep, new pad. No, I... Oh, ah, I keep forgetting. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> All right, and... Your turn. Okay. So you took the first one, the first card, or the third one? I took this one and got a shelter. Okay, okay. All right, 
I'm going to see I really wanted Ooh, yuck. Okay. Let's go with All right, what do you have over there? Wow. <laughs> Stay in your lane. Fine. All right. Let's go with Miss Competitive over this here. This one to get a shelter. I'll do that. Okay. And I'll put that one here. All right. I am going to... Um, okay. I'm going to take this one and put that here. That gives me a water droplet, which I will place on this egg. Actually, I'm going to switch it. I'm sorry. I'm putting it on the beaver. Okay. My bad. All right. Okay. So new pads. All right. All right. And I will take. Um, ooh, I'll take this one, and I'll put him right here. Okay. Right here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go with. Um, Okay, you took a new animal, so I gotta take one of the other pads. Um, all of these are pretty disgusting. Um, that's gonna be... Ooh, okay. Well, that that's kind of stinks because now I'm forced into a, a nasty situation where I have to take... Um, I guess I should do this then. And I don't want to, but uh, I don't have much of a choice there. Mm -hmm. So that goes like that, and I get a water, mm -hmm. and I will make that, let's see, worms, no, strawberries, no, uh, we've got two acorns on this path, I will put that there, mm -hmm. and one animal over there. Yep. yep. Okay. I will, hmm. Mm. Mm. <laughs> um, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to take the... This guy. Okay. This little rascal. That's fine with me. Put him right there. Okay. I will grab that one mm -hmm. and put it here. And I get a water droplet, and I will place that, let's see, no worms, no eggs, strawberries, worms, no, so it must be, I'm going to put it on the worm over here. Mm -hmm. Alright, path. Okay. I will take the water droplet. Okay. And I'll put it right here. All right. And I will take this and put it on the strawberry here. Gotcha. Um, I am going to take the bird because I really don't have much of a choice. Um, it's one point per egg. There's one egg there. Um, I mean... This would just give me one point, unfortunately. It's not great, but all right. If I can somehow get more water droplets, that would be cool, but um, that's not to say that... Okay, yeah, I guess I'll put it there. Okay. And then new animal and new path. Okay. I will... I'll take this one. Okay. And I'll just put it right here. And that gives you a shelter? Yes, it does. And I'm going to put this on the badger. Okay. Um, part of me wants to take um, this one, but this is a point if I manage to get that out and I can maybe put something over here. Um, but I have to hope that I get I mean, this is one point, or 
do I... Well, I know she's not going to take this next turn. So I might as well grab this one and put it here. That gives me an egg. And I will take the water droplet and add it to... I guess I've already got one point for the egg. It really doesn't matter. It's all equal equal points. That's just an extra point for that one. Mm -hmm. So new path and new path. Yep. And it is the last turn. Okay. I will take... Um, All right, let's do, yeah, let's do this one and do a shelter. Okay. And put it there. And I might as well just take this for the point. Mm -hmm. um, although I could take that for the water droplet, but it's, it won't do me any good. So I'm going to put that right there. Mm -hmm. And even though eggs don't score anything, it's still worth a point at the end of the game. So that, that ends the game. Mm -hmm. um, worth mentioning in a two-player, there's an alternate two-player variant where you can create a four-by-eight grid and draft two cards at the same time or something like that. It's in the rule book, mm -hmm. but they don't have the table space or at least camera space to show that off. Mm -hmm. So we're going to count up uh, points. Now, there is no score pad that comes with this game. It's a, a complaint of mine. It would have been nice if there was an actual score sheet to go along with this game. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to count up your animals. Two, one... Two, one, three. So that's three, three, that's six. So you've got nine points for your animals. Mm -hmm. Now, as far as the food that they're eating, mm -hmm. this one has a strawberry that's one. Mm -hmm. Egg, that's two, that's three. That's four, and the egg is five, six. But I can only hold three. Three, so this egg is worthless. Oh, so, oh, so you can't pick and choose. No, you can't, like, skip it goes along things. the path. Oh. Flub nuggets. Okay. Yeah, good. so it walks along the path. It can carry what it can carry, and then it ignores the rest. Oh, man. I should have done it like this, then. Go ahead. Oh, no, I can't, because then I would have to discard, because that would connect these yes, two. Yes, it would. Okay, interesting. So, just to recap, one, mm -hmm. uh, two, three, four. four for this animal. I'm yes. just going to write down four. Uh, this animal is... You've, you can hold four, one, two, so all of them. The worm gives you one, right. two. This is three, and egg is four. So four points for that animal's feeding. Mm -hmm. uh, this one down here. Two, four, six. Six two, points four, for six. that, okay. This one here this is... One is one, two, three, three four, four five. five. So it skips the acorn. Yeah, five. So five points for that one. And then this one, the honey badger, can only do two, which is two and four. So four points. Yes. Okay, so nine plus four, 13, plus four, 17, plus six. Um, I already lost my count. 13, 17, plus 23, 28, 32. And you can recount if you want. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. So you're already ahead of me there. Uh, um, this one can hold five, and it's just that. So it's... um. One point for the acorn, uh, one point for the worm, and nothing... Oh, no, one for the egg, zero for the acorn. So this is one and then two. So I got two points for this creature. Mm -hmm. uh, this creature, I have, let's see, one, two strawberries. It's one, one, two, three, four. Oh, I thought I had a shelter on that. I guess I didn't. Okay, let's well, just one, two, three then. So, uh, strawberry is one, acorn is uh, two because of this water droplet. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is two, four, six, because this is two, this is two. Like the strawberry is two points and this is two points, so two, four, six. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, this one is, it can hold five. Um, acorns are uh, two, mm -hmm. so two, four. Eggs are three apiece, so... Oh, wow. Four and then nine is 13 for wow. that animal. That's gonna win you the game. No, this cat can hold four. One, two, three, four. Mm. Um, eggs are worth uh, three. So three, six, nine, and the worm is 10. Wow. 
and this one is a whopping zero because mm. eggs are zero. Mm. So um, that adds to, that's 23, 29, 29 plus 7 is 36, 38. So I won by roughly six points, yeah, give or take. Um, so what did you think of this game? It was okay. It was, yeah, I, I feel like this was just, eh. Yeah. It, I mean, I've played other tile drafting games. Like there's a couple of animal-based ones where you had to score the different animals based on their positions on the board. I think yeah. it was Ecosystem. If I remember correctly, I think so. Uh, I I thought of King Domino because of the tiles. Stuff. Yeah, this this reminded me more of ecosystem because placement matters. The mm -hmm. ecosystem didn't have pathing, but it mattered which animals were connected to which animals yeah. or, or adjacent or whatnot. Mm -hmm. So if you like ecosystem, you may like this one as well. Yeah. Like I said, there is a two player variant where you can do a two uh, four by eight grid if you so choose to. Um, yeah, this game I I feel like this is more of a filler. Yeah, uh, I I would love to see how it would play out if there were cards on either side. That way it can give us more choices. Mm -hmm. And because it was so limited, like I wanted a water droplet, but I didn't want the card or vice versa, mm -hmm. you know. So I think it would have been really cool if it had two cards on either side. What concerns me is that this game can be played with four players. And we used almost all of the water droplets. Yeah. And in, in the, um, I mean, this is what was left of the shelters. But there's there was only four water droplets left, so I feel like in a four player game those are gonna go fast. That is gonna it's be just really weird fun. that I mean unless there's more there's not I more mean, in the bag. Well, to be fair, to be fair, you, we, you cannot take from the same row, right, right. Mm -hmm. or from the same column. Excuse me. So even if there weren't that many water droplets, I don't think it would have mattered because if you took the card from here, someone else would have to take the other three cards. I suppose so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Based on the number of rounds, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, yeah, I guess you're right about that. 32. So this is what the reverse side of the board would look the like tracker. if you were to, you would flip this over and just track your scores as you go. Mm -hmm. But still, you don't, it doesn't keep track of what you've already scored either. So mm -hmm. like if, if, if I tried doing it this way, I would lose count. So like I would lose track of what I've counted so far, mm -hmm. which is why I think a separate piece of paper would have been very helpful. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, score your animals first, subtotal, score each animal subtotal, and then go from there. Yeah. Uh, I think that would have been a nice addition to the box, but so it goes. Yeah, I would say this game is just okay. Um, it, it gives, uh, it, there's a little bit of strategic play there in yeah. the sense and you know how do you want to build this do you want to be risky and because i saw you you're like building paths for animals that you didn't even have yet and i'm like well how do you know they're going to take that kind of food whereas i was trying to get my animals down first and then build off them but mm -hmm. it was difficult because then you started taking the animals and i'm like well now i can't place any animals yeah so it's pretty cutthroat i was i was eyeing those animals that came out that i needed this would i honestly would not play this in a four player setting or three or four player setting only because could you imagine just being the last one to always get that same it's card very limiting i think that would be that's awful yeah i i think this is a good two player game but with a four player game a lots of table space mm -hmm. b the third and fourth player, really nothing to really think about. I if I, if I were gonna play three or four players, I would like you said add more cards above each yeah. row or something. Yeah. Um, just to sort of balance it up. But I think this game is more. I think this is more suited for a two player. I, I would definitely not recommend this for a three or four player game. Yeah, I would even like get rid of the whole rooster tracker thing and have it so that people can actually take turns being first. Like the first player could take. Can be first, and then the next player can be the one to take. That's first. an op that's an optional thing to do to do, I guess. But mm -hmm. then that makes taking this card meaningless, unless unless there's another reason. That's yeah. That's why I was thinking like maybe replace it with something else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, like I said, I think I think this is an okay game, but I think it has its problems, especially yeah. at a higher player count. I I think this works best to two players. Yeah. I'm not gonna rush out and play this again. It's a cute game. I like yeah. the idea of it. I love the idea of animals going along their path trying to get food. I think it's really cute. Mm -hmm. I would rather play Ecosystem though over this. It's just more meaty and it's a bit more, I don't know. I, it's more balanced, I think. Okay. So anyway, that was a Saver Nick Forest. If you guys haven't already, subscribed to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I happen to publish. This is Vincent Adelie. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time. Bye guys.